Hi there guys, good morning from Thaka Bangladesh. Hopefully you're doing good. Today I'm feeling a little bit better uh, with all the medications going on. There's a tons of medication. Thanks for all your support, your love and prayers. You know, it means a lot to me. And I see the caring messages. Some of you wrote so many messages, you know. So thank you so much. I cannot respond to them, all of them at times, you know, because I'm resting most of the day. Uh, it's still hurting a little bit in the uh, place because it's like, you know, it's, uh, to be honest, it's on my bum, you know, <laughs> right side of my thigh. Uh, but there was like a huge abscess, right? Yeah, uh, kind of a thing, like a big pimple. So uh, minor surgery and all that. Um, but thanks to my painkillers and everything, I'm doing okay. And the food and my doctors, thanks to all of them. So today what I plan to do is a little bit different. I'm not going to do a fragrance list of, let's say, um, let's I think fix it. If you cannot hear me properly, let's put it a little bit up here. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to do a list of 10 fragrances or in general house. I felt, you know, I thought of this concept, you know, because many of you watch me, many of you are new, some of you are old members who actually know about perfume, some of you are new. So what happens is, you know, sometimes uh, some of the brands, you know, uh, in many ways, brands, certain perfume, certain fragrance or certain discontinued fragrances pick up a lot of price over Amazon, uh, eBay or something. You know, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to sip uh, onto my coffee because the voice will be down all right and what basically happened the short idea is this none of these fragrances are bad i have them and i reviewed all of these and there are other houses that i'm gonna mention one honorable mention as well i have nothing personal and nothing animosity over this uh, with these houses or anything so do, do not get me wrong i admire them they are fantastic fragrances but when you are actually seeing like thousands of fragrances, you know, you have gone through, sniffed, seen the prices. Sometimes you feel life is a bit unfair, you know, like some of the fragrances you feel, I feel you're paying a bit too much for what they are. And uh, in my humble opinion, this is just my opinion, you know, it's not absolute. Okay. Hope you get the idea. Do not get uh, personally, uh, don't feel personally attacked or uh, as a fan, do not bash me in a way that what do you know? You know, I don't know anything. Nobody uh, knows that much. But the whole idea is some of these fragrances I felt could have been better priced. Okay. And some of these fragrances, you should not do it at this price range. Okay. So if I go, you will understand. So first honorable mention or the only honorable mention I'm going to do is the house of Nasimato. Okay. Uh, there are many other houses. Obviously, people may feel they're overpriced, but I don't have anything from them. Do you know the reason why? They do have some awesome fragrances. Black Afghano, they have like some of them Hindu grass, they have some interesting ones, but the reason for me to say they are overpriced, all of them are because they have extra day perfume but 30 ml, okay? 30 ml bottles look really nice, very cool presentation, but they go for around $200 plus approximate more or less or more for 30 ml. So if you convert it to 100, you know, some of you may say, oh, extra day perfume is like more concentrated, so you're paying more. Some of the times, you know, like Black Afghano, newer formulation, they don't perform the, all that well. So some of the replacements like Gucci, Intense Wood, with also got discontinued. But you know, some of the other uh, similar ones, they have 100 ml. You can buy the clones of uh, clones for much lesser price. But in my humble opinion, uh, just without much drama, I think black Afghano-like fragrances or Nasimoto fragrances uh, are overpriced. So I don't own anything from them. And if you especially, you know, you want to use it for longer time, you know, how long you can use a 30 ml bottle you have to keep repurchasing right that's one so there are going to be many many houses i don't own sometimes but i just want to keep the video short so i'm doing 10 so let's start first one this is not a fragrance particular i love this perfume just gonna show this as an example uh i don't think ever retails are worth it you know and this fragrance i'm going to show you the first one the house if you buy these at retail i think you're going to pay a lot more three times more than when you rather than you're buying discounted sites like let's say tester or something okay you can get this very well under 200 dollars but when you pay retail these fragrance of perfume de marley they can go well over 300 400 dollars some of the special editions can go much higher so at that price point what i feel personally you guys know my love for perfume de marley i reviewed many of them i own many of them but i did not ever pay retail whenever i got a discount even a retail shop that's when i bought them i never pay full retail on perfume de marley the fragrance outstanding 120 mil and this is in the last spot because i think these are more fair in terms of pricing because you get a little bit more juice okay so a perfume de marley in general the house i feel 
as retail they are overpriced second house i'm going to show you this is from my collection these are frederick mall perfumes okay frederick mall as a matter of fact one of the most prestigious one of the most upscale niche houses and uh, these are not all niche fragrances you're going to see today but frederick mall have some of the best fragrance i'll tell you one thing synthetic jungle is my favorite this one but this is called promise but there's one called dawn it's other one i forgot uh, was it night or something i forgot the name there are two other from this particular line you can see sebastian zara's review those are ridiculously priced thousand dollars almost pops you know like for uh, these perfumes so in my humble opinion i smell one of them i think dawn or one of the other ones and i also saw sebastian's review this is my just just my thought once again i felt the one that cost thousand dollars and this one it's around three hundred dollars i got i think three hundred dollars i got this for something like a little bit under three hundred dollars but i got a discount from one of the retails so that price point i love the fragrance so much i love the complexity at that price point even that high i felt this was worth it i loved it absolutely because it has long lasting performance projection amazing but those other ones <laughs> from the line of hundred dollars you guys expert can tell better but i feel i feel these house that those thousand dollars i did not see why i'm paying thousand dollars for those fragrances they look the same bottle same presentation almost the same quality so for me frederick mall some of the fragrances are a little bit overpriced if you can get discount they're really very really nice they have some unique perfumes you know portrait of a lady i do love uh, iris pudra um so you guys understand i don't have anything against these brands i'm just telling you which ones are not worth it so look for a better deal you know look for a, a let's say partial bottle or a tester in it that will serve you better some of these fragrances you know like uh, master of azure absolute masterpiece the smell wise everything but some of them can be a little bit overpriced next one is going to be popular choice i'm going to show you tom ford tuscan leather uh, from the private blend this is the one i have i love, have so much love for this perfume next to this would be next best thing for me to love would be next to this would be tobacco veni and perhaps uh the lost cherry different people have different choices but i'll tell you tom ford i have massive respect for him i love his creativity when he did for gucci and i love his creation in tom ford like something like noir de noir i have the more the designer affordable lines even those are around 200 dollars under so nowadays the let's say booty jour or some of the other ones that coming out costa azura they are making a bit more affordable version of those premium lines but what i really felt these fragrances for retail tom ford the private blend they are crazy priced and the special ones the limited release ones like effing fabulous the lost cherry few of the other ones you guys know uh, i felt the 50 ml bottles going for 500 dollars plus retail i saw and imagine those are like thousand dollars if you convert to 100 ml bottle size um so <laughs> as a fragrance lover you know they become sort of unaccessible they are just making maybe part of the fragrance for very rich people so i don't have a problem with tom ford because i don't have to buy because their prices are out there in the open but as a fragrance lover tom ford private blend can be a little bit too expensive for my liking so but tom ford i love the house they have many many great fragrances but the private blend can be a little bit expensive next one is a line i'm going to talk about uh, this line the original one and some of the other flankers became a little bit affordable but in general this house as a designer very expensive okay they never ever give huge discounts the house of uh, either way you say emporio or giorgio armani giorgio uh, this is emporio armani but armani as a whole so i'm showing you stronger with you oud this is uh, almost like a latest release not long ago and uh, i bought this you know i bought this like uh, as a tester unit i got a good deal that's why i bought it but usually when i bought stronger with you leather that fragrance cost me almost 150 dollars as a tester so as a designer perfume these are really good very nice i love i speak so highly of them but when you see the price point i cannot recommend usually you'll see me say in the video that these are not worth retail that's what i'm trying to say some of you you'll say yes i'm a loyal uh, perfume lover that's why i buy these fragrances and i feel uh, my loyalty is there because of how much i love them like armani aqua di gio profumo or some of the other ones they can get great deals if you buy bigger bottles but this one especially these ones like the limited time they i believe over 150 170 dollars so those are niche prices you're looking at that i'm not trying to put down armani armani is my favorite house but if they're within 100 dollars budget like many other uh, like hugo boss versace and they're not using the brand name 
perhaps uh, the price will be much more affordable to many people they can buy uh, if that's not the target I don't know but these fragrances should be reachable by everybody you know so when it goes over 150 dollars many other people say no I don't want to buy a designer at this price point and uh, I would agree with them so Armani is stronger with you especially the leather Middle Eastern exclusive and Oud these are ones I feel a bit overpriced let's go next one uh, this one is a particular fragrance it's too expensive <laughs> and this example will change and again i love this perfume to the bits i used it since it came out and this was my very first theory mugle and this is called ultra zest and many of you will be like yeah 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 this one definitely whatever it's people selling it for people buying it for i have seen it gone as much as 300 dollars at some pages more or less it's not the fault of theory mugle at all this is the problem with discontinuation and the high uh, and uh, people how much they cannot live without a fragrance when it was available for 35 45 bucks you know when it came out you know it was like 45 dollars around that price range let's say maximum 65 but this was cheaper than other mugli i remember nobody bought it nobody cared for it and i bought it i liked it but i didn't say it's like the worth 10 out of 10 but in time i grew because uh, i grew to love this one because i didn't find anything exactly similar or clone of this so now this one it will cost you a kidney you know if you buy ultra zest people will ask for people will be asking for 200 300 dollars easily don't do it okay you can live without a fragrance you don't absolutely have to have it because of uh, the hype and uh, how much you feel you need it you don't need it that bad bro okay so i'll trust this is the second one sorry next one so top five uh, these are all like not in according to order next one would be jeremy's fragrances you know office for man date some of the other ones why is this in this list when you're looking to pay the retail no when you're looking to pay the discounted buy one get one free even then it's a little bit more expensive but he's charging you for his brand name and money he worked out hard for his brand he made sure his brand is a success so yeah many of the other design niche house uh, indie house if they can charge why not him but if these fragrances can be had for buy one get one free then they are really nice i even say especially office for men i love it long lasting and crowd pleaser simple but at retail these fragrances are a bit too much you're just maybe a loyal fan but you don't realize after imagine you bought for 250 dollars or something like it okay and after one week or so they gave a discount buy one free one same fragrance you're gonna feel betrayed you know so these are like again as i told you i like it i don't have anything personal against it i'm just telling you as a reviewer um, part of this fragrance at retail they're not worth it next perhaps will be number one but i have some favorites next one are creed fragrances and the Creed brand, it's a fragrance house that get the most bashing for their prices, reformulation, watering down. And then you guys know, especially Creed's Aventus. This is the fragrance that has the most people talking about it and saying, I need this particular batch, that particular variation. I, I never could get down with those because uh, why not make a fragrance constant for everybody? What's the point of having 100 different batches, you know, so people have to hunt down everything you know and paying how much money people have stashes and i've seen my some of my rich friends and uh, followers they have like whole stash boxes and like 50 different batches of 120 mil of uh, aventus with a smoky batch pineapple this and that with all due respect in my humble opinion i used it i loved it this is my second bottle only and uh, i have some of the creeds and i bought the creeds when they were kind of like an affordable under 200 dollars in bangladesh the retail prices were like that but then over time they've slowly making the balls for 120 to 100 ml that's one thing is a big red like alert for me like why would you reduce the 20 ml juice and not only that some of the fragrances became more expensive because they say the availability of the you know ingredients are a bit rare like ambergris and stuff i understand all that but does it justify more watered down fragrances for more prices you know uh, it's just for me you know like great fragrances you know aventus i love but I got similar or better reactions with many other fragrances, so particularly the Aventus one and the Crete fragrance in general, I feel at retail they are a bit overpriced. Not a bit, they're overpriced, okay? <clears throat> Number three, yeah, YSL Lanoid Delorme. Uh, this is not the fault of this fragrance. Once again, this is due to reformulation. After 2012 and 13, the fragrances they say are watered down, no longer amped up like before the cardamom note went down it's watery uh, i haven't tried to be honest 2009 batch i never basically tried and some people say even that one was not 
all there. It was strong, but it was not like all there fragrance. Okay, it's not like 24 hours fragrance. But the unique thing about Lanui de Lom is that smell combination of cardamom, the chocolatey notes, and the bergamot. It's one of the finest fragrances ever. One of my favorite designer perfumes of all time. Absolutely love it. It's sexy, masculine, got me attention. But when the again the vintage batches they're searching for three four hundred dollars, I would never pay that money. I would rather buy some of the fragrances, many other fragrances for that price range because it makes more sense to me. I'm a practical guy. So Lanui de Lom, remember one thing. If you buy a batch, let's say 2020, 21, 22, let it sit in your collection for one year or so. This is going to get darker in juice, one thing. Second thing is going to get stronger over the years. Okay, So you can do that. You don't have to spend four or five times more unless you're really a big fan of this fragrance vintage batch and you're craving for it. Okay, That's the next one. Number two, by Killian fragrances in general. This is my, my one of my most favorite, delicious, most perfumes. You guys know that. Um, Angel Share. I'm going to take a little bit of time because I'm just doing the one video. This fragrance particularly right here, um, I love it. But look at this fragrance. I'm telling you from, I bought this totally from emotional point of view. Uh, this was not bought for my Deacon page in thinking like, oh, this is going to bring me huge profit. The prices on these were 200 something dollars for 50 ml. If you convert, it's like 500 ml for 100 ml. Sorry, 500 dollars for 100 ml. And many of the others, nothing from this house is cheap. Of course, I understand brand image, you know, they are like Frederick Mall house like that. Or, uh, you know, what's the house called? MFK, Mason Francisco John, right? Their fragrances are really expensive. Yes, I understand there's a certain brand image and then their costs are high, the ingredients are high, but by Killians are way out of range for people. 50 ml bottles go for expensive price tag. So those are by Killian fans. They are going to disagree with me. Hey, is it worth it? You know, fully agree. Okay. If you love something, fully agree with it. If you have the cash, you can buy it. But in general, not many people can afford. They are forced to buy those samples just to get a taste of by Killian fragrances. So I feel by Killian fragrances are at even at discount, they're expensive. Okay. So this is my number two today. But I love that fragrance and I love many of the fragrances, but the price I wish a little bit better. Number one today and I will get a lot of bashing for it because many people love it. This fragrance is loved by many. It's a big hit. People know this. This is the best version of this perfume. They say, I don't agree. And they say this is one of the masterpiece Dior ever made. Okay. Uh, I, I don't, I, I do agree when they say this is one of the best fragrances they made, but not the only masterpiece. Dior Design Line have done so many masterpieces like this. I'll show you in a bit. But let me show you Dior Sauvage Elixir. Uh, this fragrance, I do like it. Okay, I do love barbershop perfumes. I love the cute little bottle. This is not my bottle. This is my friend Dr. Jeffrey's bottle sitting with me for months. And I have been always spraying every now and then just smelling it. I'm trying to understand, am I wrong? Like, am I calling this like a, in an unfair way? The fragrance when it came out, it was 150 plus dollars, almost 155 dollars for 60 ml, I think, yeah, right? 60 ml bottles. And... Uh, Dior Sauvage EDT, 200 ml. Okay, where is my EDT? It's somewhere at the back. Okay, you can see like somewhere at the back there. Those cost the same price as this. So you might think like, hey, quantity and quality is not always supposed to be in the same, you know, like a page. I understand, but look at the value sometimes. Uh, this fragrance is long lasting, I agree. But if you convert 100 ml, it goes somewhere like $250. What are the prices like? Dior's Prevail line. Okay, is Dior using their brand image to cash in more if this fragrance was even hundred dollars i would say yeah maybe it's worth it but even the best fougier whatever tom ford has similar fragrances booty jour that fragrance uh, 100 ml is cheaper than this okay uh, because way obviously because it's 100 ml same price so it's like you get double the juice almost right uh, they have some other ones i love uh, burning barbershop many of the fragrances if this was 100 ml bottle i would still say agree but for 60 ml just to make uh, the Dior's uh, name worth it, I felt this was overpriced. So let me finish it with one note. And these are the sound the examples. There are many other out there. Uh, something like a house like Zoologist, you know, the fragrances, they're asking for so much money. And uh, their bottle size are not 100 ml, right? 60 ml or so. I forgot exactly, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. But some of the houses, you know, like, give us 100 mil, you know, like especially houses like Nasumato, I feel they're just trying to cash in big, too much for the 30 ml bottles. You will see it, you know, if your money is not an issue for you, super rich, you will be like, hey, what you're saying? I've been paying that money, you know. But think about it. Many of the other houses like Amouage, 
I did not put amor in this list. Do you know why? Because I feel the fragrance is unique enough. The ingredients are so high. I mean, something like this one. Some of you say, yes, yeah, overpriced, maybe. But the presentation, the smell, I have nothing like this in my collection. The quality of these, you know, if you understood, no problem. Interlude, man. Of course, I did not pay retail, but I would say suggested never buy retail. But discounted prices are very reasonable. So it's just my thoughts. Do let me know what you feel. But some of the times, you know, uh, full retail can be a bit too much, right? Uh, so these are some of the uh, examples. Thank you very much for watching. <clears throat> my voice is gone. Hopefully I can upload it and you will watch it. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Take care.